This is another archival upload of my previous Mix Critique videos. Again, I apologize for the vertical format that this video is about to switch to. This is numbers 21 through 25. Time for another Mix Critique. This one was sent in by James. Let's check it out. Two seconds into the song and I already had to stop it because that guitar is very out of tune. The same thing as I mentioned in the last mix critique I did, tuning is so unbelievably important. You need to make sure that your guitars are tuned properly. You could have a great performance, you could have a great tone, but if it's out of tune, it just sounds bad. <laughs> Not big on that lead guitar tone in the background there. I see what you were going for. It's not clean enough, it's not bright enough, it's just not a very good tone. Also, I can really hear the room a lot in that lead tone. Generally not gonna want that in a lead tone. You're gonna want the cleanest possible sound you can get to minimize room sound on the lead tone so it's unobstructed and it can cut through everything easily. Time is funny, how it... I like the tone of the vocals, whatever effects you have on there, the EQ, like whatever mic you used. It sounds good on these vocals, but why are they panned to the right? There's no vocal up the middle of the track. There's zero vocal on the left side. You pan the vocals all the way to right. That's bizarre. Your lead vocal needs to be right up the middle. You need to focus on that guitar tone. You need to get much better at miking your acoustic and your amp because that's the biggest problem I'm hearing is just the source tones of the guitar. Time for another mix critique. This one was sent in by Cast. Let's check it out. Down the bottle of medicine, now I feel like Bahamut. I like the general vibe of the track, but I'm hearing a lot of mud when the drums actually kick in, and your vocal tone is not great. You need to work on that. First of all, the vocals need to be a lot louder than they currently are, and they also need to be a lot brighter. Like, we need more presence in those vocals. They're so far down, there's so little energy. Honestly, they're hard to hear. The instrumentals were pretty good. Like I said, they were a little muddy, especially the drums, but it was all right. The biggest problem is your vocals. They're so quiet. They're damn near impossible to hear. And the focal point in any rap or hip hop subgenre is the vocals. And honestly, pretty much any genre of music, the vocals are the most important thing. So if we can't hear what you're saying, that's a serious problem. You need to bump the volume of the vocals up. You also need to make those cut through more. I understand the delivery of it was kind of intentional for what the song was about. I get that but personally I would want a little more energy out of it and I definitely need to be able to hear the vocals better in general. Time for another mix critique. This one was sent in by Adrian. Let's check it out. I love the sound in general, like the tones are great. It's a good mix. The problem I'm hearing in the intro is the timing. The guitar's not quite lining up with the drums to the point that it's noticeable, so that's an issue. It's harder than it's ever been for you and me, my dear old friend. I remember. I really like the vocal tone. My only issue with it is I wish there was a little bit more reverb on it. Like, there's reverb on it clearly, but it's too short. I want it to be a little longer and fill things out a little bit more. Can't you see? You know life has been good to me. So honestly, tonally, that sounded fantastic. Like that was a really good mix. My only issues really are the overall volume of the track. It's too quiet. It's gotta be louder overall. Looking at the waveform, like you have it limited properly, just the overall output volume needs to be significantly louder. Uh, the only other thing that I really noticed that I wished was a little better was I like the volume of the vocals compared to the instruments for the verses, but during the choruses, I wish the instruments were louder. During the choruses, the vocals are just a little too far over the top of everything else, and it doesn't feel as full and energetic as it could as a result. So I would maybe just automate up all the instruments during the choruses. But other than that, that was a really great sounding mix. Good job. Time for another mix critique. This one was sent in by Landon. Let's check it out. So it sounds pretty good so far. The guitar tones sound great. The bass sounds pretty good. The drums sound pretty good. The vocals sound really great actually, but the biggest thing I'm noticing is the kick drum is a little muddy and could probably be compressed a little tighter. It seems a little too loose.
That lead into the chorus was a little weird. It was abrupt. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It was just unexpected. But when the chorus actually hit, I felt like there wasn't nearly enough high-end frequencies. There needs to be something over the top of everything. I was honestly thinking this for the rest of the song leading up to the chorus, but it became extra apparent when we hit the chorus. It's got a good amount of energy, but you need something in the high end there. Everything sounds really mid-range focus, which again, isn't necessarily a bad thing. I just feel like you're missing something in the high end there. I also definitely want a little more low end in general. Your mid-range is solid. Everything in the mid-range sounds really good, which is the most important thing for making things translate from one playback system to another, but it sounds like your low end and your high end are lacking as a result. I would say that both of those need to kind of bump up. It sounds like you kind of have the, uh, the typical smile EQ, but reversed. Like your mid range is much louder and we're not getting enough low end or high end information. Back with another mix critique. This one was sent in by Brian. Let's check it out. Yeah. We're off to a great start. This sounds great so far. Right, in the chorus, all the ambient stuff in the background, like the high key part and things like that, kind of overpowering the vocals a little bit, I would bring that down a little, personally. Also, it sounds like you're a little heavy handed on the time effects in general. I would definitely dial that back. It's kind of making everything a little too washy and taking away some of the punch of the track. The whole bridge section sounds awesome. If you can't tell, I'm really enjoying that right now. If I got to get real nitpicky, the telephone or the radio effect on the vocals during that section sounds a little nasally I would adjust where you have the frequencies on that so overall that was a really awesome mix uh, if I have to get real nitpicky here the bass is very very sub heavy it sounds good but I'm just I feel like I'm missing some mid-range out of the bass I would try to find some mid-range frequency for the bass to cut through a little bit more so it blends a little better with the guitars because right now it sounds very separated from the guitars and part of a really great overall guitar tone is when the bass tone blends really well with it but overall solid mix good job <laughs> 